Whenever you all are ready, could you explain what you've built? Yeah, so for our final project, we decided to challenge ourselves and build a quadcopter. Um, it was like an exercise really in balancing trade-offs, both like physical and in terms of the electronics design as well. Uh, weight especially was a consideration. And yeah, so on the screen here, you can see the pitch and roll angles um, as numbers right there and being plotted as the angle moves. Um, because of the uh, metal tube, the range of motion is limited from about 8 to minus 8 degrees, so we're plotting 30 degrees here total. Uh, you can also see the roll and yaw PID components, and we are outputting into the plot the output values of the PID controller as well for the roll and the yaw okay. motors, and then all four PWM values. So for the demo that I think we'll start, the quadcopter will go up and hover for about a second and then come back down. And your PID controller, just make sure I understand, it's controlling roll and yaw? Yes. Okay. Okay. Roll, pitch, and yaw. Roll, pitch, and yaw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should I start the demo? Sure, yeah. Um, can manually set the throttle rate. Okay. Um, uh, let, let's now say 1,000. Oh, sorry, I didn't turn it off. That's 1,000. Now it's 2,000. Now it's 3,000. Now it's 4,000. Now I set it to the maximum 4,800. Now it's the maximum. Okay. Now I turn it down to 2,000. And turn it down to zero. And then I shut the motor stop. Wow. So it, it, am I correct in observing that as it fell, it almost looked like it caught itself? at the bottom? Yeah, um, we have a, um, we scale through decreasing the power. Yeah. Uh, but we have a few jumps because it tries to get close to the ground and then okay. uh, you slowly land. Okay, you the parameter data from the axis to try to estimate the height, uh, but it's not accurate uh, because we can't use the complementary filter. Right, that's what I was going to ask is how you were actually getting, so you're, um, you're sort of doing a it was like a dead reckoning from when you see something approaching free fall, yeah. guessing where the ground's going to be to catch yourself. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, uh, you, uh, should I explain the algorithm now, or you explain circuit first? Mm -hmm. I can, circuit. Yeah, yeah. first. So for our circuit, we mm -hmm. begin with a similar approach to the lab three. Um, in the sense that we isolate the ground MCU and the motor control circuits, um, but we had to uh, replace a few components, beginning with replacing the MOSFET, capacitor, and diode with the Darlington array. Um, because the Darlington transistor will not eat up as much voltage as the previous components would do. Um, for the power, we unfortunately selected uh, motors that drew a lot of current. Mm -hmm. So when it is a uh, full duty cycle, it generates around uh, 1.8 amp. And when it's uh, 50 percentage, it generates uh, around 1.2 amp. So uh, we did not realize this in the beginning and resulted in the first version 
our first version circuit uh, being burnt. Hmm. Uh, we redesigned the circuit after the first version failed. So now we use uh, four dot intern transistors because uh, uh, each motor need like uh, four or five channels of Darlington transistors to support the large current it generates because uh, each channel of the Darlington <laughs> transistors can only handle uh, 500 million uh, so for the power supply we also replace the we replace with a new battery so our battery now is uh, 1000 and 500 million hour and 100 C which means it can generate a, a maximum current of uh, 150 amp okay. and because the overall current is around uh, 6 amp on average so the battery can last around uh, 15 minutes mm -hmm. yeah that's a uh, whole electronic for the hardware design, we went through a couple versions of the uh, 3D printed casing itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, for holding the motors though, we've stuck since the original design, um, since this worked well. But for, since we've shifted the number of components that were on here originally, we've shifted from having everything on board to removing it because mm -hmm. of the weight, especially because of the battery's weight. Um, yeah. Very nice. So, in terms of is this, this is the only sensor, correct? Yes. Okay, onboard. so you have an accelerometer and gyro on board. Yes. This is your all of your Darlington transistors here. The motor control circuit. So the motor control circuit down here. This is the VGA. These are the VGA connections. Yeah. Yes. And then you have a the Pico, Pico right here. Yeah. And you're sending, you're configuring and controlling the Pico through a serial interface. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, can I explain the code? Mm -hmm, sure. Um, the main code structure comes from lab 3. Okay. And I combine the core logic of an open source uh, drone DIY project on GitHub. And, um, um, and about the hardware, uh, the hardware interface, I read the MPU 6050 data uh, pro, uh, with the interface provided in the lab 3. It's mm -hmm. called MPU 6050.c. Mm -hmm. called function um, and when I read it I um, I use the complementary filter to calculate the angle for roll and pitch mm -hmm. yeah, but the yaw angle can only be calculated with the gyro speed because it can't be compli uh, calculated with complementary filter uh, then I use the um, position based PID control to to make sure that the roll and pitch angles are are on the, the horizontal line, and and to make sure that the 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 rotation speed of uh, yaw is about uh, is uh, close to zero. Okay. Mm. And um, I output the the control signal through two PWM uh, PWM uh, slices zero and one. It has two channels, mm -hmm. and they are all set at the same frequency. Uh, and uh, the channel, uh, the slice one, uh, the slice one are in control of the on PWM wrap function. Mm -hmm. um, in the on PWM wrap function, it set the for uh, it set the PWM output for four pins uh, separately mm -hmm. uh, with the PID output uh, with the PID control value that that it just calculated. Okay. Uh, and the mo and the motor PWM up output value is calculated um, by the basic uh, by the basic throttle and the and the control value for pitch roll yo. Okay. Mm. And what's the speed of your control loop? Is it a kilohertz? Um. Yeah, a kilohertz. At a kilohertz. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Cool. Thank you, guys. Anything else you want to say? Is that good? Awesome.